Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. So we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, instead of doing a technique technique, I wanted to share with you 20 cards using one sheet of paper. Uh, one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. So I've taken this Kaiser Craft uh, sheet and I cut off the little strip that's on the end. And then we're going to measure... I'm just trying to figure out which way I wanted my stuff to go, like which direction. I measured and cut off at 10 inch. That's the first cut, okay? And then the second cut is going to line up on three and a half, and you're going to set that aside. And then one more time, you're going to cut at three and a half, and set the other pages to the side, and you're going to take one of the three and a half by 12, or by 10, excuse me, and you're going to cut it in half at five inch and then that particular five inch square we're going to cut on the diagonal just putting point to point lining it up along our cut line and cutting straight across so you would have four triangles the first three and a half cut the sheet that we have we're going to cut that at two and a half so it's going to create three and a half by two and a half inch squares you'll get four of those and then on this one I had a little bit of um, that piece that I originally cut off, it was just a little bit extra on the end, like I didn't cut it off right at the 12, so I was just trimming it up, trying to get it neat, and then once I get it in the cutter, we're going to cut it at one and a quarter inch strips, all the way down, so you'll wind up with eight strips when you're done cutting, okay? And I'm going to try and also put the measurements in the comments but I also will have a link to the um, lady that I found this from on YouTube so that you guys can also look at her video and then that very first piece that we cut off when we cut the paper down to 10 inch we're gonna cut those into three inch squares so you'll have four of those so that's four of each of the different sizes okay now off camera I cut out three different um, sentiments I guess you could say it was really it was four of them but I cut three of each so I have a you happy um, th uh, thanks I think was one of them and uh, hello okay and on these particular cards for the decoration I either used the die cut words or I just stamped it so I'm showing you here at the top I did thinking of you and then I'm taking, well, thinking of, excuse me. And then on the bottom, I'm just gluing the U right over top, a little bit over top of the pattern paper and some of it hanging down. And then on one of them, I can show you just the stamping. So it's thinking of you. And it works either way with the one on the diagonal and the other ones I'm going to show you. I didn't want to do all of them on camera only because it would have made this even longer of a video and I wanted to show you some um, decorating ideas so I took the happy die cut here I'm just putting um, I'm using the art glitter glue I'm putting dabs and I'm trying to squeeze lightly all around um, the thin die cut so that way I can lay it down and I'm just putting part of the word on the pattern paper and part into the clear area and then I just stamped birthday right next to it okay and then instead of using the die cut on this one I wanted to show you what it would look like with just doing the stamping so we're gonna stamp the happy up towards the top here and then I'm gonna stamp the birthday right next to it okay so you can see if you have die cuts and the words and you want to build your sentiments using the die cuts or just using all stamps you can totally do it either way and just by using the cutouts um, you will you've created basically 20 note cards that you can give to somebody as a gift okay so with this paper collection um, from Kaiser Craft there were um, I had also gotten the die cuts okay the ephemera pack basically and what I'm gonna do here is I'm taking some 
foam dots, I guess you can call it, um, 3D dots, and I'm taking different elements from the die cut shapes um, and just using that as a decoration on top of the card. And what was fun about this is even though it's not doing a whole lot, but just that little bit of dimension on one piece, you can even just glue it straight to the card itself. You don't have to put any dimension behind it. But just those little bit of details, just give it a little bit of something and you're fine. And really and truly, like on a lot of these, there was a couple, I didn't even put anything on them. There was enough with just the sentiment itself and I just left it at that because you'll see here I'm like putting little swirls and I had the word family going across and I was like you know what it's okay the thanks so much can be just enough and the pattern paper is so pretty so why you know mess it up by trying to put something else on it I want to say I wind up putting a leaf on this one in the end um, but we're just gonna keep going I think I'm laying out some keys of course nope keep it moving alright so I'm gonna go to the next one the thinking of use I was kinda happy with the way those turned out <clears throat> the only thing I could think of was on that one I added a little butterfly and then I was looking at these on the hello sunshine and I was gonna put something in the center but I decided just to put a little flower maybe on the end on the left hand side and that one with the leaf and then on these three because all these well three I wish I could count these four where I did many things I knew I wanted to do the bigger um, flower pieces that were in because it has more space and more room for it uh, being in the horizontal position so um, horizontal Lord have mercy vertical hello <laughs> can you tell it's late when I'm recording this please forgive me okay so um, right now I'm putting the foam tape on the back of the one with the pear and I'm only doing it that way because it's very delicate and has lots of small spots so I just wanted to make sure that there wasn't anything that was flapping or laying weird uh, for it okay and then on the last two I do uh, the big flower and then the very last one I do two leaves I do a medium size and a small one um, just to tie it in it had enough room that it could it could take it so that's what I decided to do and on some of these I put two um, of the dots or the little foam circles um, some I just put one and it's just enough just a little something to you know lift it up off of the uh, page and call it done and then here's where I decided to put that last little leaf I had so as I um, clean up and move everything out of the way I just wanted to lay out all 20 of the cards and you can change stuff up you know if you don't want to use like I said the die cuts don't if you want to use nothing but die cuts go ahead and this would work for any season you know what I mean you just follow whatever paper or pad that you have now I was thinking I made this carrier case for the cards um, on another project but if you guys are interested in maybe me doing one in the Kaiser Craft paper to match these note cards just leave a comment down below and I think that'll be our next video I know down in the more section I will have a link to scrapbooking with me um, the YouTube channel where I did that carrier um, card carrier from I will have that link down below as well as with the lady um, who did the 12, 20 cards with the one 12 by 12 sheet of paper okay so if you guys have any questions like I said just leave comments down below click on the link here to subscribe and if you want to see any previous scrapbooking with me um, our technique Tuesday videos okay thank you guys and have a great day